bad bitch heiress is back in the house and for the next two months she is conjunct the north node of destiny Now, we all know that Mars is pretty punk rock as far as planets go. Mars is defiant. Mars challenges the status quo. Mars will flip you off. Mars will challenge everything if it feels so inclined. But Mars's sister, Eris, is actually the most punk rock of all the planets. Technically, she's a dwarf planet. Eris is responsible for getting our beloved Pluto demoted and in a new category of dwarf planet. So Eris was discovered in 2006 and didn't create a big um, to do when she was first discovered, aside from the whole Pluto demotion part. But since 2016, I've been paying really close attention to Eris. Um, and we'll recap some of that, but let's get to, let's get to the, why are we talking about Eris? For the month of Libra season, for the entire season of Libra season, and pretty much the majority of Scorpio season, Eris is going to be conjoining with the North Node in Aries. So this is in the late degrees of Aries. Through um, Libra and Scorpio season, Eris is within one degree of that North Node. And this is a big deal. Anytime, as I started to say before, anytime I see Eris activated by major transit, we see big uproars and challenging of the system from a social level. So in 2016, Eris conjoined with the planet Uranus, and that's when we saw the big Me Too movement. We also saw the protests of the Dakota Pipeline. So there was a lot of, um, you know, a push to acknowledge the indigenous presence, the indigenous communities and protecting their communities. We also saw the Black Lives Matter protests really heat up. So again, acknowledging and representing the importance of, of black lives and being able to just simply exist in society without being persecuted for the color of your skin. So Eris is all about representation. Eris is all about representation. And she really cares about fairness and justice, but she's not going to do it peacefully. She's not going to do it peacefully. That's Venus. You know, Venus is all about, can we come up with a win-win? Can we pass some legislation? Can we all get along? Is there a civil way that we can go about this? But if that doesn't work, that is when Eris tends to step in and say, screw all of this and flip a table and create some chaos. So in the myth of Eris, um, all the all the deities of Mount Olympus are gathering at a wedding and Eris was not invited. Who knows why? But Eris is like, well, I want a seat at that table. So I'm going to plant this golden apple in the middle of that table. And it's inscribed to the fairest. And that creates a whole uproar, a fight between Athena and Hera and Aphrodite about who's the fairest. And ultimately what it leads to, there's there's more of the story, but what it leads to is the Trojan War, a bloodbath um, where we get the Iliad, which is all about Mars, and Eris gets a lot of mentions in the Iliad too. Because Eris, does, like her brother Mars, does not shy away from bloodshed. There is, she understands that there is a place for it. Um, and sometimes I think when Eris shows up, it's like to this point where we can no longer be silent. We have to say something. And so we have to create a stir. We have to get people's attention. You know, it's like that, the Mohawk, it's, it's the punk rock, you know, attention grabbing. Let's draw attention to this issue. Um, so yeah, that's Eris. Another thing that Eris does, now this goes back to her discovery. So Eris joined the party in 2006, 2005, 2006 is when Eris was discovered. And what did we get in 2005, 2006? Social media. So Eris also brings um, 
this idea of representation and having a platform for your voice. In other words, you don't have to be a celebrity or you don't have to work for a major publication to have a voice. Now, anyone um, can have a voice and a platform. And we have this whole new category of um, persona called an influencer. And that is heiress. That is heiress. She's so punk. You know, you can have a big platform. And we see this all the time. People have a bad experience with an airline and they get on their their socials and they start ranting and raving and they we get results. We see this all the time. And so that's the power of heiress. But it's also chaotic. You know, it's chaotic that we live in this information age. We're sort of inundated with it all. And it's hard to kind of sift through all of it. So there's a chaotic element with heiress. But there's also a leveling of the playing field and creating a commotion for the greater good that comes with Eris. Um, So, yeah, I mean, 2016, we saw a lot more. Um, we had an election that year. We had a lot more diversity in our elected officials, and we continue to see that. So in 2020, in 2021, we saw Pluto and Eris in a square. So that was like another wave of all of these movements of um representation for um for and fairness for for women for people of color for our lgbtq communities we saw a lot of movements there um and what we're gonna see here what i think the social media connection is going to be really important because i don't know about you but i'm starting to feel just like very disappointed. I mean, not starting to feel disappointed with Twitter, but or also known as X. But I just I feel so scattered with all of these different media outlets. And I joined threads, but I'm kind of disappointed because it doesn't have like the same momentum that that Twitter had. And it's just all very chaotic. And then you have like the Instagram impersonators and the verification and it's just so chaotic and not feeling very enjoyable. And so I'm curious what Eris on the North Node is going to do with the social media, especially because this eclipse coming up at 21 degrees Libra on October 14th is going to oppose Eris on the North Node. So Eris is going to be very thematic, being within that one degree of this North Node that intensifies and tends to pour more attention and energy into something. There's a ravenous hunger associated with that North Node. And so it's gobbling up. It's gobbling up some of these different platforms and pushing them into some extreme manifestations. So I think we're gonna, we can expect to see the social media spaces um, intensify in their drama and what's going on. So there's some sort of evolution happening here, some sort of new order perhaps coming in with the social media. So it'll be interesting to pay attention to what's happening here and what Elon Musk has done with X or Twitter. Can, can it be recovered? Is there any way to recover it or is it done? So Eris may have a say in that. Um, so yeah, I think another thing that we might see, um, I mean, Eris is still in that square with Pluto and that's going to be right in the crosshairs of the eclipse. So I don't want to get too much into that here. Um, I want to save that for our little eclipse video, but that's a little bit about Eris. So we're going to be hearing a lot from her. So not only are we going to have the chaos of eclipse season, but I think we're going to see like another wave of Eris, whether that is the ur the urgency and the push for voices to be heard some other things that we have seen with eris near the north node because it's near the north node right now is we saw mexico protect abortion with the federal decriminal decriminalization of abortion which is pretty cool um i think that is very eris in the sense of um equality and having sovereignty over our bodies you know Eris is an Aries it's all about sovereignty the other thing I saw was the conviction of Danny Masterson for 70 years in prison this is a huge cultural shift you know thinking about Brock Turner getting like a little slap on the wrist in what was that 2014 
versus now get someone in the public eye getting a very strong conviction like this, it's, yeah, it, it just shows that things have changed. It just really shows that things have changed. And I want to I wanna say Eris on that one because it's on the north node of extremes. You know, we haven't seen something like that. We really haven't. So I, I think I would put file that conviction under Eris. So for right now, um, this is your Eris conjunct the North Node astrology shot of the day. We're going to see a rise in punk rock values and pushback against the system, as well as chaos and craziness in the social media spaces. So for right now, that's your astrology shot of the day. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can still sign up for Timing with Transits. We begin on September 21st. This is an 11 week immersion into predictive technique. We're looking at transits. We're looking at perfections and how the two work together. And you can still sign up and I hope to see you there.